All right, peace, y'all. Peace. I am Conductor Williams. Welcome to Guided Producer Session, where we walk through records that I've heard before, walk through records that I I haven't heard before, and, and basically, instead of being pretentious about what kick they used, what sample they used, you know, and and the prestige of the artist were more or less just taking the music at face value, measuring out the song for how it's making us feel, the texture of it, the way it sounds, and a little bit of science, uh, musical science on it. You know what I'm saying? If you're interested in, you're interested in really developing your ear, connecting your ear to your emotions as a producer if this is a part of the game that you're really interested in definitely hit the links in the description all of this all of this shit is on my patreon more videos just like this extended versions members only merch uh tons of tons of goodies on the patreon for my union plus members and my union gold plus members definitely a part of my game as a producer that 15 years ago this is something that I did every day and something that I still do now, you know, almost like a form of of meditation when I get that time. Today, we're going to get into one of my favorites, and this is a song that I've journaled about before, a song I journaled about before, man, and uh, Sly and the Family Stones, one of my favorites, man. One of my favorites. There's a ride going on. I'm sure... Uh, a lot of a lot of my producer heads, a lot of my music heads know this album cover as soon as I pulled it. Like you know what time it is with this, right? Um Yeah. We're gonna get into it. There's a joint on here, one of my favorite joints on here, just like a baby. Beautiful joint. I haven't heard it in a long time, probably ain't heard it in a few months. Um uh, You know what I'm saying? Released on Epic. We're going to put it on, going to put it on the placard and uh, grab a pen. While I do this, grab a pen, your journal, and, you know, a cold beverage. You know what I'm saying? A brew. It's almost brew time, too, for me. I'm right there. At the time of recording this video, I'm right at at, at Miller time. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a can before it. You know what I'm saying? So, on your paper, I want you to write down feel, texture, sound, and science. The only four things that I want you to be um, listening for and thinking about as we go through this record the first time, this song the first time. And um, Generally, I'll run through this song one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven times, especially when it's a new song. But since this is a song that I've heard before, um, definitely... Feel, texture, sound, science. We're going to go through it um, as a one sheet. So for feel, for me, is that walking bass line. Every time, it, like, every time that rocking chair of a boom, 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 like, that's just, like, just cradling that thing. You know what I'm saying? That's my... Probably the most seductive thing about this song, the most hypnotizing thing about that song is that bass line, walking like that. The texture, big, bold letters, underline, underline, underline. Nasty demo. Like, the that's the aura. The aura about this shit is it's a nasty demo. I feel like we're not supposed to be listening to it. I feel like it's cutting board shit. Turn the mics on. Load this up. You know, I... I I heard a story about this, and I can't remember if it was from Slot or not. And I think it was uh, right before he passed several years ago, where he talked about a riot going on album and how he did everything, and um, with a drum machine, or he just cut the drums himself and looped, and played the organ, looped, and played the bass line and looped like he did everything. Now I gotta check my sources on that to see what it is, but it, if you listen to this whole album, it does sound like some shit. Like he did it all himself, you know, one man band type of things in between records. And um, now listening to this song with that context, it really sounds like that one mic over the drum set. You know what I'm saying? Or in between, housed. It sounds like that. One person doing everything vibe, and I love that shit, bro. Yo, if I could sing, y'all would have a problem. 
You know, like, I would have 30 albums, you know what I'm saying? There's something really comforting about this sound for me. And I don't know if it's the Dilla Donuts, uh, all the all the Stone Throw hip-hop that I've listened to in a lifetime, all the raucous hip-hop that I've listened to, you know, sound bombing, where it's just this, like, there's a comforting thing that happens when um, the machines are on, you know what I'm saying? And that's and that's why I use, you know, a lot of hardware is, is something comforting about the fans in the machines going and um, Mike's picking that stuff up and, you know, it's something warm about that to me that makes me feel like humans are there. <laughs> you know, like humans are doing that, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's comforting to me. Uh, a bit of science uh, I didn't put the uh, spectrum analyzer on, which is something that, you know, I'm actually probably going to start doing. I try not to, because I think it's important that we just listen. But for all of my audio heads, I didn't really get a lot of information past 6K, you know what I'm saying? 10K, I didn't get a lot of information. Rare, I mean, rarely do you, but this thing ain't sizzling around, you know what I'm saying? It's not sizzling and simmering and buzzing and snipping or nothing. Um, it's just this round thing. It's just this round, very round. Uh, if I had to describe this as a as a square or as a shape, it would be like a, um, a circle, like a sphere. If I had to describe it as a taste, it would be um, like the the like the it would be like the perfect the perfect medium rare steak you know what I'm saying but like perfect seasoning a bit of char but not a whole lot of like you know what I'm saying y- y'all know what I'm saying like it's not a whole lot of se- super seasoning happening on this it's like what it's supposed to be it's steak it's pepper it's a rub and then that's it like we're not doing a bunch of shit to this it's about to cook and um that's what this is about it's about the cook it's about the feel as you get all those you get all those moaning and groaning and those like very pentecostal church things that he's doing you know the uh squall the squalling You know, my, my my old man, my dad, we listen to a lot of blues together. But he'll call that Bobby Blue Bland, that Bobby Blue Bland squall, that type of shit. And I love it. And I'm here for it, bro. I'm here for all of that shit. I'm here for all of the, like, keep the mics running. And everybody's just, it's just nasty. It's just funky. And those sounds is what happened. When it's funky like that, you get, like, niggas is looking ugly in there. And niggas is like it just things are happening, and that's like the beauty in being a, a creative person, you know. So, yeah, uh, deep dive. Take a minute. Go back through your notes. Listen to the song again. Reload it up, and um, and dive back through because it's it's a lot of brilliant, sim- simple, brilliant things happening inside of uh, of that that slide song right there slide of family stones uh there's a riot going on album the song was just like a baby i'm conductor williams that's your gps um basically all i got hit conductor we have a problem dot com we have a problem uh, the patreon uh, is uh patreon.com conductor williams backslash conductor williams um definitely a lot of things in the works i'm working on a lot of music and these small studies that I've been doing are keeping me in the game. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for joining me until next time. Conductor out. Conductor, we have a problem.